Hey guys, Tom here. This should be a super quick video. What we're going to do today is try and grab information about a YouTube channel. For example, the channel name and the sort of thumbnail profile photo of a YouTube channel. Now there's quite a lot of things out there to kind of get videos and to get information about videos, but I found it really difficult to find any sort of package to get information about a channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And so as always, so I've created a blank folder and it's called YouTube. And we always begin by creating a virtual environment. Um, we're just going to call it uh, YouTube and like this. Then we want to activate it like so. Uh, let's see what happened. Oh, okay. Our virtual environment is now activated and we can just pip install. We need to pip install a couple of things. We need to install requests. And we need to do a pip install for beautiful B E A beautiful soup 4. So I think that's pretty much everything. So now let's uh, create a file. We'll just call it youtube.py for now. And then we can open that up. It's gone over to my second screen. And we can start working. Now actually I wanted to get something up because basically this will be in the description. The real MVP, the person that helped us figure out how to do this was this guy or this person. Now I had to make a slight amendment so I thought I'd still do the video. But you can see if this works for you. Um, if it does then great link to this Stack Overflow post will be in the description but for now we're just going to go back to what we did and what we're doing with this. So we want to begin by importing a few things. So we're going to import beautiful soup, we're going to import requests, uh, regular expressions and JSON. So that's the first thing. Then what we need is a URL. So we're going to say our URL is equal to and it can be any of these. If you notice like videos playlists, community, channels, uh, about, this is probably the least heavy. They all have the information that I want. So let's grab it from the about page. And then what we need to do is we need to define our soup, which is going to be beautiful soup. And then we're using requests, so URL, then we have to do this cookies thing. And basically what happens when you make a request to YouTube, uh, this like uh, Google consent thing comes up and you just want to say yes to everything is what that means and we want to grab the text. So copy this as is. Um, then, and essentially all we're doing, and we could look at the response and I could show you what's going on in stages, so I might do that. What we're doing is we're looking for this thing called var YouTube initial data, which is something that gets returned to us um, when we find our soup. And we're just using a regular expression to go through our soup. And um, yeah, we want to find this and everything in between its curly brackets. Now, actually, I wanted to open this Stack Overflow thing again, because this is where you'll notice a slight difference. In particular, in this um, in this line here. So I had to figure this out, but essentially the only difference is, if we look, that we had to beautify, uh, prettify, sorry, our soup, and then it worked, because you get a bunch of errors otherwise. So essentially where you've got this uh, string soup, you have string soup prettify instead, and everything should work. If it doesn't, I'll try and help you in the comment section. And this is pretty easy, it's like really nice. Then all we want to do is JSON underscore data, which is gonna be our JSON data, and we just want to convert our data to a JSON format. So that's what we're doing here. And then that's it, now we can treat it like a normal dictionary. And again, you would kind of see these things, so what we'll do is we'll do them in stages, but these are the things we wanna grab. So if you don't care about any of the other stuff, then you just want to basically copy this code and you'll have everything you want. We also wanted the channel ID 
and actually at the end I'll show you what I'm working on and then we just want to print so hopefully this all works so python3 youtube.py and there you go we've got everything, we've got mancas um, we should have the channel ID which is this and then if we click on this we get my um, profile picture now that's pretty much it but we can look a bit further sorry we wanted our soup and then we're going to copy and paste this control copy uh, control copy sorry let's execute our python script we can do control f control v and let's look for it so here this is what we're searching for so we're searching for our var youtube initial data and then you can see this is what we were working with this is our response context and again it just gives us the same thing gives us our channel id somewhere in here will be my channel name uh, if i do monk uh, monk house that's my that's a link so that's a twitch link there you go simple text this is the channel name and then you've got avatar here and the interesting thing about youtube is they actually give you the thumbnail in multiple different sizes so you kind of have this first one which is with 48 uh, 48 and then you've got another one and then another one also there with 176 176 so yeah that's really it and i said i would show you what i've been working on so if i find this i've been this building the sort of youtube idea generator um, which is pretty cool so we can kind of generate video ideas i'm still playing around with the quantity it does so you'll be able to see four. This looks a bit too big right now. I kind of want it to look a li little bit smaller. But the idea is to just generate inspiration for videos. So you can pretty much come over to your like sync new channels. And then I can kind of get inspiration from these channels that I'm synced to. Uh, so this is a video I've done. And then, you know, that's got 988 views. And this is a video someone else has done. And that's got 125,000 views. Um, so that's a more interesting video than my video. So, but what you really want to do is choose uh, videos that are sort of something you know about or channels that are similar to yours. Um, so this is just me and me playing around, um, but it's pretty cool. And you can see that obviously for sync new channels, this is where I'm storing the uh, channel names and the logos and stuff. So yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and hopefully that was useful.